back to same right fashion academy youtube channel for another interesting tutorial in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how to sew this beautiful twisted knot dress as you can see right there with beautiful drapes so if this is what you want to learn in this class i will encourage you to stay till the end of this tutorial to learn how this dress was cut and draped thank you so to start off this tutorial i'll be using um lycra fabric and the lycra fabric i have here is three yards so the yardage is three yards so any stretchy fabric you can see is stretchy can do this tutorial so after that you need your pattern you need your pattern so this is my basic gown pattern and you can see i have um, the outer and inner armhole and the armhole for the back and for the front so we'll be using this to cut the back pattern right now i'm going to cut the back dress then we'll go over to the knot dress so here i have my chest line this is the chest line this is the waist and this is the hip line and then the full length of this gown okay so here i'm making use of here as my center front and it will also serve as my center back so i'm just using this one pattern for this whole tutorial so i'm done cutting my back pattern and i've added my seam allowances so here i added half an inch all around and this part is on full so what I cut here is the back pattern. So here is the back pattern and that is what I've cut right away. So this is what it looks like right now. So I'll just go ahead and take off my pins from my pattern. I'm going to take off all my pins. So I'll take off the pattern. So here is what you are going to have once you have taken off the pattern. This is the back piece, so I'm going to set it aside right now. We'll move over to the front. So now we are done cutting the back, so we are going to cut out the front now. So from the waistline, just go in by half an inch. So I'll go in from the center front half an inch. So at this half an inch now, I'm going to open up the waistline like this. To the half an inch so we'll be able to so you can just cut a little beyond the half an inch like this okay so we'll be able to place it this way for the uh, twisting so after this next is to bring in your fabric i'm going to take off the pattern and i'm going to fold the fabric so here I've placed my fabric on fold, so you can see it's on fold. So the folding of this fabric, you are going to place your fabric on fold of, the measurement of my fold is 24 inches. So from 22 to 24 inches, just place your fabric on fold. So you can see it here is on fold is on fold so now the next thing you are going to do the folded parts you will bring in the pattern so bring your pattern and place it on the folded parts like this so place it on the folded part of your fabric like this and give some inches for your seam allowance so next mark the make a mark on your center front area my chalk is not actually okay so then from there you are going to measure from that point of the fold measure eight inches inwards eight inches inwards that 8 inches is on the waistline. 
So once you have measured 8 inches inwards, next you are going to do is to place your center front and that 8 inches inwards and tilt this to the center front area. Secure with your pin. So I'm going to secure with my pin. So as I tilted it, you can notice that I don't have any seam allowance. So just go down a little bit to create your seam allowance. So here, I'm going to secure with my pin. And then I will come back to make, to make sure that I have this. Since I've shifted that part, so make sure you have it still at that 8 inches. So I place my tape from the center front again and ensure it's at 8 inches. And yes, I have it at 8 inches. Then you can now go ahead and secure with your pin to hold down the front piece. Then I'll also move my fabric to the down part, still on the center front area and tilt the down piece. Just tilt the down piece this way to touch the center front, like this. So when I, I touch it, this is what I'll have. I'll also go ahead and secure with my pin, as you can see. Can you see that? So I'll just go ahead. So this is what you are going to have on your pattern. So from here to here has to be at that 8 inches. Okay. So before we cut, we have it at 8 inches. And the center front has to be on fold as well. So here is the center front to the hem, as you can see. We have the center front to the hem, so it have to touch the hem like this on the down piece. And again, we also have the center front for the front to also touch this part. So please don't forget to cut out the neckline. So I'm going to cut out the, I'll take off my pin because the neckline we have here is for the back. So I just go ahead and cut the neckline for the front. So after I'm done cutting the neckline for the front, I'll bring it to the center front area. So you can just take off your pin. So we are supposed to cut it off before we do this tilting exercise. So I'll just hold it down. Then I'll also go over here. I'll also come over here and cut out the armhole for the front as well. So don't forget to do all of this. Very important because it's the front armhole. So that is it. And then you can secure with your pin. So this is what we have as you can see now. So next is to add our seam allowances all over. I'm going to cut it now. So here is what it looks like after I'm done cutting. So you can see I added my seam allowances 0 0.5 inch all around. So you have to add 0 0.5 inch all around your pattern as you can see and 0 0.5 inch on the neckline as well. So here this is what the down piece looks like too. So the next thing we are going to do if you remember we had um, the center point at this point. So now we are going to split this part from the 
down piece of this we are going to open up that part so just go ahead and do what and put your scissors and open up So here, you are going to open here to the waistline, okay? And this is the waistline. So we are going to take off the pattern right away. So at the end of the day, this is what our pattern looks like. So when I open it up like this, this is what we are going to have too. So this part is the center front area so i did not split the neckline so so just go ahead and cut out this that is the neckline so you can expand the neckline if you want so at the end of the day we are going to expand the neckline so this is what we have right now and this is the part of the waist line okay so the next we are going to do is to cut out the skirt piece so here i've detached the upper piece and i've cut out my skirt piece so i added 0 0.5 inch on the waistline and half an inch on the sides so once i take off my pattern this is the whole skirt piece i have so just go ahead and make your notch at the center front area like this so this is it, the whole skirt piece. This is what we have, as you can see. So although I have to join it because I don't have enough fabric, so you can use three and a half yards. So you use half a, uh, half a yard to make the down front piece. So here is my skirt piece now. So next, we are going to work on the front. So here is the skirt, the waistline of the skirt. And this is my notch, which is the center front notch so i'm going to come in with the dress so here is the dress neckline and this is the part that we cut the part that we cut when we are cutting so this is the lower and this is the upper piece i will pick up the lower piece and i'm going to attach it so i'm going to just stitch to make it one piece I'll stitch like this at half an inch. That is the first thing I'm going to do. Let me do that. Here you can see I've joined the skirt and the damp part of this part. Okay, so the damp part of this part on the right side, I've joined the skirt and the damp piece. So you flip the upper piece now. Just go ahead and flip it and match it together too i'll match it together and i'm going to follow the stitches i made here and i'll stitch up to the point i stopped so you can see what i have here and like i said i told you to leave this part open there's going to be an open part of it you can see it so what i did was to stitch the three pieces together one two and three Okay, this is the skirt part, which I first stitched with the down part of this, and later I flipped it and stitched completely. So this is what you have. The up and the down with the skirt piece has been attached. So the next thing we are going to do, we'll come over to the... We are going to come over to the right side of it now, the left side of it. So here is the left side of the dress. So you can see the left side of the dress and this is the center piece. So I'll just pick the down piece like this, just pick it like this and then pass it under this way from that hole that we made. Just bring it in like this. 
can you see so when you bring it in just keep bringing it in like this so now you can see i've brought it in so but don't bring it in all of them make sure you still have these parts which is upper uh, lower and upper piece then pick up the lower piece and this is the skirt part you can remember the center notch pick up this part and then match it from here Go over to your machine and repeat the same thing we did the other way. So I'm going to stitch it at one as one piece. So here I'm done sewing to an extent. Okay, so you have to sew match the damn part from uh, the side, attach the skirt piece, and stitch and leave 0 0.5 like we did on the right side. Then you pick up the upper piece and lay it like this. Go over to your machine and stitch following the stitches and stop exactly where we stopped. I'm done stitching the three of them. You can see them one, two, three. So now this is the upper piece and this is the skirt piece and this is the down part of the upper piece. So if you remember, we had it at this point. So you are going to spread the cloth now and arrange it. First, we are going to work on the left piece. So the left piece will go over like this. So make sure you, you arrange it well. So you can see how I'm arranging it. Into that knot, arrange it well. So just arrange After that, you are going to arrange this part. So if you can see, this is the side part of it. So arrange it very well into the knots. So I see the side part of it here too. So just pick it up and flip it like this. So when you flip it like this, go back to the machine and stitch it on top of this. So I'm going to stitch close this part. So after joining them together, you can see my stitches I have to join them together the next I'm going to do is to arrange this is the knot part arrange the knot part like this make some drapings to it so I make sure that the draping lays flat on the side like this so you can go ahead and secure with your pin so I'm going to arrange it this way. Okay, so you can drag it a little bit. You can drag a little bit. So I will secure it with my pin now. So I'll just go ahead and flip this part in. Just flip it in. And secure with my pin. So you can just arrange the drapes and secure them on the side of the skirt. So I'm going to pin and turn the back and stitch. So after sewing on the side of the drape, I'll just go ahead and trim off the excess. Okay. So now we are done with the left side. We'll be going over to the right side. So to the right side, you can also see the other piece which is the upper layer so this upper layer now I'll just drape it this way you can see how I'm draping it so I'll just drape it to the side of the skirt like this So you just use your hands and drape it to the side of the skirt. You can see how I did that. So I'll go over and also secure with my pins and stitch it from the back too. So here I'm done draping it to the side. So this is the excess I have. I'll just go ahead and cut it off as well. So you can see the drapes I have on this side and the drapes I have 
on the right side too. So now the next thing we are going to do is to lay the back piece of this dress. So we are going to bring the back and lay it right side to right side because we are done. So I'll just go over and stitch the sides, stitch the neckline. Like I said, you can alter your neckline to your choice. So I'm going to close the neckline and the sides now. So now I'm done closing the sides. So when I close the side, this is what I have on the side. And when I close this other side, this is what I have too. So you can go ahead and attach your sleeve and recreate your neckline. So that is how we come to the end of this tutorial. I believe this class was helpful to you. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe. Turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends. Drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye.